Hello, welcome to my channel for 100 Lico Challenge. Today we have medium Lico 200 numbers of items. So this one is really classic DFS uh, questions. So let's take a look at it. Given an M time and 2D grid map of ones, which is island, and zeros, water, return numbers of islands. So what is island? So island here is one, is a land. So land can connect each other. So they're surrounded by the water. In this example, he is connected, it's connected, it's connected, all connected. So this all connected island, land, is count as one, one land. And here's output is numbers of land, which is one. And also take a look at the example two. In this case, here is all connected. So this portion is count as one island. And here is individual one, is another island. And here is the third island. So we output three here. So how do we solve this problem? Is there's one way of solving it, is when you, you need a helper function, the helper function is basically loop through every um, element in the grid. If you see that if this one, that means the land, then we'll increment the counter. We have a counter at the beginning, start with zero. So when we see one, we increment one by to the counter. After increment, increment by one, and then the helper function will uh, make this one become zero. So let's draw this out. So now we become zero. Not only that, uh, after this drawing this zero, uh, the helper fun function will check up, left, and right, bottom. So in this case, if it's our bound, which this case and this case, it will do nothing. So it will return nothing. And here, when you go to the right side, it will recall this helper function. So it will make this zero. So basically this helper function is keep drawing ones to zero. And in the same time, check the surrounding up, left, right, bottom until uh, everything's clear. So now we check this one becomes zero and we check up output is out of bound and check right left. So since left is zero, so also do nothing. The same case of this out of bound. After this, we go right, zero, zero, and then uh, at left, so out of bound, left is zero, right zero, and come down to here to draw this one. And in this case, left, upper bottom, everything's zero. And we go back to here because this node only go up, check upper and left. And we just finished the right on this side. And what we need to do is go down to check it. The way of we, the checking works is go up, left, right, down. Or you, or you can also choose whatever way you can do, but the the checking is just it's going different differently. Eventually, it will still count all the ones, cancel all the ones. That's what it does for the helper function. And be, at the beginning, before the helper function, we already count the counter, the counter right here. Uh, one now, so we will loop through. Um, everything until we find another one. So this is the logic of this uh, DFS question. Let's clear this first. And we jump to the code now. Now we have, let's see. First we have a count equal to zero, start with zero. And, oh, Yes, we have to check if grid is equal to no. 
uh, actually script dot length equal to no or grid first row dot length equal to no. Oh, sorry, sorry, what am I doing? Then we'll return zero. Yes, and then we have a counter now. What we need to do is have a end. Um, we loop through um, n, n row, m column, actually m row and n column. So it's equal to zero, so I have zero. I less than grid dot length. This is row and I plus plus. To make it clear, we can use R. or in column equal to zero, column less than grid, first row dot length, right? First row dot length, and then C++. So it will, it will look through every character. So now if, grid, row, and column equal to one. In this case, there's an island. First thing we need to do is count plus plus first. And then we call the helper function to cancel everything, every uh, adjusted uh, ones, let's see. The helper function will bring in R column in here we will write out the helper function to take in the matrix and then we have int R and C now First thing in this helper function is check if r less than zero. That means it's, it's on top of here. So it's, if it's less than zero, negative one, that means it's out of bound. Also check c less than zero. This out of bounds on the left side. So this out of bound, there's two more out of bound condition is r bigger than equal to grid dot length. Same time c is bigger equal to grid zero dot length. That case is four ways of out bound. That case we will return, that's it. We don't do anything. And we missing one of the conditions is when we see the the current place is we checking is zero, so we don't do anything because we don't need to cancel the zero to zero. We're just looking for ones to cancel it out. It's equal to zero. Then we just don't do anything. Now, after that, we will make the grid current place equal to zero. Changing to zero, then we have the call to check four directions. And the direction doesn't matter in this situation. Uh, we put the grid in here, plus one. No, oh, not I, sorry. Plus one C helper function. Minus one C. C plus one. 
minus one. So there's four direction here. And I think this is, let's see if, oh yes. In here, after all this um, loop through everything, we just return counter. Hopefully pass. Stack overflow. Let's see. Oh, this one mistake here. It's we it's changed it to the character instead of an integer. So it pass. Okay, it looks good. Now this one's really important. Most of the questions based on this uh, DFS. So I hope you get it. And if you have any question, please comment it below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And see you in the next video. Bye.